Okay, so I'm gonna review my painting titled A Thing and I'm gonna explain unconscious art technique. So I painted this in college. It's like my Mona Lisa. Um, why it's a, a Mona Lisa? It's a... I like to have an idea that I always return to. Because I have a lot of ideas, I think about a lot of things, and I would forget kind of um, like my roots and what's important to me. That's what the Mona Lisa represents to me. It's what is important to Da Vinci. No matter what project he works on, this these are the ideas. What you find in the Mona Lisa, these are the ideas that are very important to him. Chiroscuro, um, the smokiness, these are the ideas that are very important to him. So this, at the time, was my Mona Lisa. This was the one project, my senior project, that I... It's just a senior project. Throughout my life, I'll, I'll think of other ones. But when I, while I was in college, my senior project, this painting, it was a large painting, um, it was my go-to. These are the ideas that I return to, my unconscious art technique. These are the ideas I always return to. So, um, what do I return to? Um, marketing. It was a commercial for dry skin. Right? So, I, I, what I hold important is health. Um, health is very important. And it creates technology when you when you hold health as what's important to you, you create skin products, you create all sorts of technology to protect that health when you hold it at a high standard. So in art, um, when you hold something to a high standard, it catches the attention of the public and then they become aware of it. So, I hold health as a very high standard and especially brain health as you can see um, it goes from top so how do you read you read from right to left uh, in America you read from right to left I know in in Chinese like scripts you read well there's a way to read there's always a way to read so you always read from top down you always, when you look at someone, you look at their face on down. So brain health is the most important health. And you see it takes on the entire body. When someone's brain goes out, the whole body is useless. When the brain rots, the whole body rots. That's what I'm trying to say. When the brain rots, everything about you rots as well. That's what's important. The brain. If that thing starts thinking and rotting with what you put in it, this whole thing goes with it. So, if you put rocks into your brain, you see, you become it. If you put beauty into your brain, then so you become it. You become beauty. So it's what you put in your brain. It's what you eat. So he's holding potatoes. You become what you eat. You become what you think about. 
if you think about beautiful things, you become beautiful. If you think of rocks, um, what it symbolizes, the metaphor, if you put rocks in there, like complete nothing, you become rocks. But if you put rocks as nature, now let's, let's move on. If you put nature into your brain, you become as beautiful as nature. You become as beautiful as nature. You become equal to nature. Equal to her. Um, so, so that's my main, um, also there, there is pop art in it, there's like, it's a commercial, things like that, but mainly just like the Mona Lisa, that's what Da Vinci holds important to him at all times. Those, those themes and ideas are what are important to him at all times. For me, this at the time, this is what's this is what was on my mind at all times, the brain. If you make the brain beautiful, you be there, you become beautiful. But furthermore, if you put nature into your brain, you become as beautiful as nature. Um, and then moving on, um, the, the potato, him holding potatoes is from, there, there's all sorts of themes in there. There's um, girl with the pearl earring, there's the Mona Lisa, you know, important themes. There's um, Van Gogh's potato eaters, so you become what you eat. Um, girl with the pearl earring is very mysterious. Um, my thinking at the time is if you're that rich, why are you hiding it? People like to show off their wealth. So, for um, the comics, I like comics. I'm not hiding it, I'm showing it on a big scale. I'm showing it off. I'm not hiding it. So, girl with the pearl earring, she had a really large earring, she's showing it off. However, she's in um, low class attire, meaning she's still hiding a lot of herself. She's only showing a little bit. Me, I'm showing all of it here. I'm showing everything on a large scale because I painted it on a large canvas. I'm showing everything. And I use a sanding technique that Takashi Murakami used. So I'm sanding all the fake off of me and I'm showing raw skin. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm taking away everything fake and I'm showing my bare skin. No makeup, natural beauty. No makeup, natural beauty. That's the um, importance of the pearl earring to me. The girl with the pearl earring to me. Showing off your beauty, showing off your wealth. Um, because wealth is low class. Uh, people don't know that. It's, um, it's shunned upon to show off your wealth. Meaning it's low class. If you can't show it off, if you, if you can't show it off, it means you're low class. So wealth is low class. Uh, people are unaware of that right now. But if you cannot show it off, that is considered low class. So unconscious art technique. What that is, is and it's very important to me, is at the time I might not be thinking of it, like the girl with the pearl earring, or what I'm thinking of, of course, is the Mona Lisa girl with pearl earring, and obviously the potato eater, obvious. Um, but what I'm not, uh, what I wasn't thinking of, it's a commercial. Um, it's a commercial for health. 
for healthy skin, for healthy brain health. Um, you can apply those things because it's on my conscience, on my conscience. Um, and because it's on my conscious, um, consciousness, I create what I create. I am not able to create this if it's not on my consciousness. Understand? You can't create it if it's not already in your head. You might not be thinking of it at the time, but it creates your technique no matter what. So basically what I mean is you have a lot in the painting more than you think. Meaning um, your whole life experience makes you who you are. My whole life experience makes the painting. So everything I'm not even thinking of, if I experienced it in life, it it applies to the painting. Um, I think that's pretty much it. But this was one of my favorite paintings. I, I redrew it. This was one of my uh, favorite paintings. Um, it's pop art. It's abstract, meaning it's zoomed into your skin. It's microscopic, scientific, it's biology, it's, you know, I like science, so I apply it to my art. It's, it's not, it's not skin from a distance, it's skin zoomed way in. It's a microscope of society. Um... Anything else? Yeah, that's mainly it. It's a, it's a, it's a microscope. Looking into reality through a microscope. Uh, that's how I see the world. Is that um, being the genius that I am, I kind of see the world through a microscope. So those are the themes I use consistently. That I look through the world. Like I'm looking through a microscope and everything is microscopic and I'm like a scientist. And um, brain health is important. What you put in your brain is important. And what you should always put in your brain is nature. And then you become as beautiful as nature. So yeah, those are my Mona Lisa, the, the themes that I always keep with me. Um, that's, these are the themes I always keep with me. Um, unconscious art. Um, brain health, what you put in your brain. Um, and I see the world through a microscope. Or a telescope. It could be a telescope, but anything that, anything that enhances. Meaning, um, I use my brain's technology to enhance um, life. Um, if that makes sense, I don't. I don't use it for fun. Meaning, I, I don't use it as oh, it's just a video game, or it's just a movie, or it's just a painting. Not to me. To me, all these are technology, and I use it to enhance um, my understanding of the world. Um, that's the best I can explain it for now. Um, yeah, I use technology to enhance my understanding. I think that's as simple as I can put it. I use technology, this is technology, a painting, video games, movies, a body, words, those are technology. I consider them as technology. I use technology to enhance my understanding 
of nature. The nature I live in. That I live in. I, I live in nature. The body is made of the same rocks that, as nature. I live in it. I live in nature. And I use, I use nature's technology to enhance it so that I can understand it better. Why do I enhance it? Because just like physics, the further in you go, the more you understand. So it's, it's not just matter. It's not just matter. It goes into atoms, which goes into quarks. It goes into strings. The more you enhance something, the more you see it and understand it better. So you need to enhance it. You can't just look at it at face value. You need to enhance it. You have to, for everything. Look at it through a microscopic level, a teles teles through, like through a telescope, but especially through a microscopic level. Then you would understand it more. You can't understand it at face value. That's, that's not how you use technology. You have to enhance it. Always look through it microscopically. 